Hello gamer family, we're back in the main, we're back in the main game. <laughs> for real. Um, not just for supports, for actual gameplay. That was lag, okay. Uh, yeah! We're playing one of the worst maps in the franchise's history. Just the right away to start us off, we're playing pure chalk. Chapter 5 and 3 houses. Oh my god, this map is... I know people justifiably don't like Chapter 13, but this is my least favorite in this game. The abandoned tower those thieves are using as a base. Without a doubt. Tower. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago. That's when invasions from the north were at their peak. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please, tell us more. <clears throat> well, I... Ah, you're joking. Professor, did you see the local villages? They were in rough shape, no doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If the thieves had taken up pillaging in order to survive, that would be deplorable, but understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, your highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain... The thieves' leader, the one who stole the money... Word has it, he's your older brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. Are you sure about that? It would be understandable to find the situation, well, regrettable, to say the least. Regrets? <laughs> you must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? This rain threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Woo! Oh, I'm not ready for Ash to be trash again. I have bullions on me. I probably should consider. Not having bullions on me. Yay! We got all the blue lions back, as well as a useless green unit who's gonna contribute nothing this map. But they have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. Even if you're not playing the Blue Lions, even if you're not playing the Blue Lions, Mikulin is still the boss. It literally doesn't change. Again, part the first half of this game is so Blue Lion centric. I'll cut through. Which is one of the things that makes the other routes of this game not very good. Anyway, I should, I should probably talk. I probably should talk about the Cinder Shadows DLC right. since there wasn't credits in it, so I didn't do it Stay last focused. video. Um, I, I think to me the best way to look at it okay. is we're comparing it with Engage's DLC, the Felzina Log. Uh, Engage's DLC I'm is honest. better for base game content, but the I'll Cinder Shadows is a better story DLC than Felzina Log Here is. Goes. Because outside of Cinder Shadows, Here we go. the DLC for Three Houses really doesn't give you anything like he gives you a couple of costumes cool I guess stuff like the sauna that either should have been the first game or just really just not worth being DLC uh, Anna who's not worth using as a unit like all it really gives you for the main game that's worth caring about is the chalice of beginnings which I literally just used there by Dimitri counter attacking 
and the Ashen Wolf units, where Engage gives you all the Emblem Rings, and Emblem Rings are really important to the core gameplay of the franchise, so more Emblem Rings changes the whole game. A bunch more maps, even outside of the the uh, story, which is cool, even if they're not always the best, it's still cool. You still got the new units as well, which is all really nice. So, I don't know. I think that's all better than what this DLC includes, but... Cinder Shadows is... Leagues. Leagues. Above. Felzine the Log. Honestly, the, the final chapter there is some of the most fun I've had with Three Houses in a long time. It was actually a ton of fun. Um, so I actually did quite like... Uh, the beginning of Cinder Shadows still sucks, but... At least the second half was actually kind of fun. I want to hear your thoughts on the DLC that we just did, Seth. Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools. I thought it was pretty good. Enemies I liked the, the introduction the of Abyss, and I liked the introduction of the Ashen Wolves oh, into the game. And I obviously already know your favorite Ashen Wolves character, uh, yeah. Seth. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw you under the bus. YouTube, Seth is a simp for Balthus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just threw Seth under the bus. <laughs> I throw all Balthus fans under the bus. And DX. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have mentioned that while we were playing that game, though. While we were playing... Uh, <laughs> whatever the hell it's freaking called. Binding Blade! Because there it was actually relevant. <laughs> I love how she's a Pegasus Knight and can't double. Who's the green one in this one? Hmm? Green unit? Who's the green one? Oh yeah, this guy? Yeah. The crappy father himself, Gilbert. Hmm. Annette has daddy issues. Well, actually, it's more that Gilbert has everything issues because he's a piece of dirt. So I guess I won't throw Annette under the bus here. So it's not her fault that her dad's a piece of trash. Oh, come on. Can you not even combat art? See, this map is bad enough that even on my first playthrough, I knew it was shit. That's how bad this map is, YouTube. Even on my first playthrough, I knew how awful it was. That's saying something. This map is the definition of bad. You go in a giant ass loop until you get to the boss. Oh, come on, bro. Seriously? I'll have Felix gambit your gambit with his gambit. And Gilbert's probably just going to stay over there dealing with those reinforcements the whole rest of the map because he sucks. You can't gambit with your gambit because you aren't a gambity gambiter. Oh, you almost don't have a sword left. I'll have to deal with that off camera. <clears throat> I don't remember what's in the chest. I just know it isn't worth it. Okay. Who is not level 11? Because those are the people that I actually want to do stuff. Those are the people I want to actually have commit crimes against humanity. I'm mean, sorry. Uh, commit... Um, yeah. I'm not hearing a sus, so I guess what I said was okay. So. I didn't quite... Wait, what did you say again? I don't remember. <laughs> something about committing war crimes and not being reprimanded for it or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> Something like that. As you can see... And Gilbert will just be struggling down there to... I don't know, I don't care about him.
I don't like him that, but I still don't like him, so. Come on, everyone, get a move on, hurry up. Yeah, obviously not everyone's that much higher from the last time we did the, these guys. And that's just because I, uh, the, um, the quest battles were really easy, so. Bruh! Here we go! Attack them from both sides! Bruh! It's an ambush! Roy Gilbert just got gambited. He got gambitten on. Ooh. Oh yeah. I don't want to have to use the sword of the creator. I'll have Mercedes heal Ash. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Any of you just level 10? No, you both level 11. How about, oh, you, you, you're level 10. Oh, no, you're not, you're level 11. Well. Not. I'll just kill this guy now. As you can tell, Dimitri's our highest level unit. Uh, once we're able to do enough battles, all I'm gonna do is like pop on like an adjudicant to Dimitri and just have him solo. Uh... Uh, combat the the auxiliary battles. Just plop him in a place and have him do it himself. Once I once I have enough battles, I need three for that. Man, you're getting wrecked, Gilbert. If only I cared. Oh, get owned. Oh, get get fricked in the ass, you horrible, horrible man. Yeah! Getting fricked in the ass. Yeah! I can learn from that. Okay, okay. You're fired as my editor, oh my god. That was such a... ...thing to say. I should have been sussed on ages ago. <laughs> I like the part where I sussed all over, and I said it's sussing time. So how did this guy get over here? Was there more reinforcements? I wasn't paying attention, you two. Probably. Yes. So as you can see, based on that, what the do got, even if you aren't actively like using gambits and crap like that, you're still leveling up gambits, which is nice. Got it. Good. I mean, authority, which is really handy. Um, authority is really useful. I never got too, too deep into the overpowered gambit train. I know a lot of people on the internet have. So I'm probably not going to worry about getting authority too much higher than B. With B, I could probably just get everyone decent gambits. Uh, three houses is already a piss easy game without breaking it in half. So. I'm not too worried about like that at all. Well, it's piss easy on everything besides maddening. Even maddening is easy once you get past the beginning. It's really just the beginning and maddening that makes it brutal as hell. It makes it have a reputation for being possible. That's the only time three house is really difficult and all, and it's not fun.
Like, I swear. Three Hours is Manning is some of the least fun I've ever had at this franchise. <laughs> so. Like, it, it sucks. It, it is not an enjoyable time. Bros. Bros in the gamer family. Gamer family bro hoes. That's a new one, bro hoes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. If it seems I'm talking quiet, YouTube, it's because I don't want to get a sore throat. Because my throat is a little tired from all the all the gaming gamer stuff I did yesterday. So. Just taking it nice and easy on my uh, vocal cords and throat today. Because I don't get enough sleep to actually heal fast. So obvious. <laughs> So obvious. I have yet to be forgiven. For now, I must retreat. Oh man, you should have just died. That would have been more fun. Funny, at least. It would have fit you more, Gilbert, to die. Sure. Fit your quality. What? I had another intermediate seal. Why didn't I promote someone else? Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. That's a yikes. That's an L. L moment. L person is me. L person is whoa. Oh, you can hit. How much damage do you do? Seven. Oh, man. And you, but you can't even hit. Ash, you're trash. Oh, got him. Ash is trash. Ash is trash. Ash is trash in my ash. I shouldn't say that part. He's 17. Mm -hmm. I'll have to wait until this, his birthday to make, to make jokes about shoving up up by ash. I will get or I guess I just make him right then, in there, without waiting, because I'm not patient enough. <laughs> you see, you may be like, you love FE4 though, but you're trashing on this map. What makes FE4 maps so much better than this? Well, good FE4 maps encourage you to split your army in multiple parts, and they also have villages that have you speed run. This map, literally, you just go in a circle. You walk as much as an FE4 map would, but you end up really not going anywhere. The enemy placement isn't interesting. You don't recruit any new units, where a lot of FE4 maps have recruitments. There's also no terrain at all. No ballistas. It's just nothing. It's just empty. Besides, literally, the walls. It's also just really big for an interior of space, so it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, look how big this fudging place is. What the hell? Like, this place is like as big as Disneyland. And it's a flippin' castle interior. Like, I wish my house was as big as, like, Disneyland, I swear. Gee, like, Jesus Christ. It's probably just time to use Stride, because I'm tired of moving all my units. Thank you. Well done. The Stride will let them go like this! And stride all over the place. Oh, they're stride and they're stride and they're stride and these nuts. Oh, got him. Striding nuts. Oh, yeah, baby. Stride on these ones. Striders. <laughs> Get strided on, cucks. Yeah! Uh-huh! Yeah! 
It's striding time. Haha, <laughs> I did not mean to hit that. It's striding time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. So this game, another, this game does take a lot from FE4. I just think it does a lot of the FE4 stuff worse. One thing is that I am are the ring system. I'm mixed about the rings. Is I think bring back rings that like influence how your unit works. It's really cool. But when you just free trade them, I just don't think they're impactful to the unit builds. So yeah, especially that. Another reason why F4 maps are better than- nice. Jesus fudging Christ! Is that gonna count as a death? This time? Yeah. That'd be an actual death. I'll give it my all. Something's happening on the um, other end for me, for the game. On your end, it's happening for me. Uh, well, I mean, starting to see, like, a blurry screen and, like... I think your internet's failing, because you sound really chopped up for me. Yeah. What should I do? Because I have full bars on Wi Fi. Ready? So. I'll cut through. It's probably your connection that's faulty. Stay focused. I'm on it. I mean, this is Chapter 5 of Three Houses. You're not missing anything. It's not like you're missing quality content. I'm gonna leave real fast and then rejoin. Okay. On Zach's CSGO server, he has a soundboard effect that's like a bunch of people leaving and joining calls, and it's really like... Actually, I could actually quickly show it you too. Oh, no, I'm not going to because that would require leaving this Zoom, and that would end the screen share and all that. Never mind. Too much work, YouTube. It's not worth the effort. You know it ain't. Hey, maybe that's fixed. Yeah, you sound better. Mu you sound much better now. Okay. Bruv. Stop moving. I want Annette to yeet oh. your stupid looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a train, YouTube. It actually isn't. Thank you. The train is Seth. I could took two two. Hmm. I'll just do that. That's funny. You think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you. No, you won't. <clears throat> <laughs> w. Get, get gambitted all over on brother. Brother of Sylvain. Get yeeted, you Sasquatch. Dumbass. Get dumbassed all over, dumbass. Stop moving towards them, you Sasquatch! Jesus! Hey, copper! Dog, no nightmares! That's not allowed. I want Sylvain to kill his brother. 
That sounds really sus, huh? <laughs> Why have you come, you crest-bearing fool? I'm here for the Lance of Ruin, Miklon. Hand it over. I don't want to humiliate you, but I will. <sighs> Hurry up and die already. If not for you, if it hadn't been for you... Shut up! I'm so tired of hearing that. You've always blamed me for something that isn't my fault. <laughs> Gamer. Pog. Oh, and the music stopped. That means this chapter's over, right? WRONG! <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Another dragon. That form. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? No, it isn't. So, this is the problem. That was probably just a tutorial line of dialogue, I hope. Okay, I, j I just want Annette to get that kill finally. Boom. Kill this stupid ass. It didn't even give you a level up, Jesus Christ. What's the point of you? I don't need to explain monsters because we've already fought in one before. So checkmate game. I don't care. I don't know, this is the map that they showed in like all the all the Nintendo Treehouse stuff right before the game was being revealed and they're like look at this epic monster it takes multiple tiles and everyone is like holy crap that is the fire emblem of, <laughs> of epic gamerness and now it's just like eh eh it's okay it is kind of cool having giant like multi-tile enemies come to life. I find them more annoying than anything in this game. I, 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 I don't mind them engage. I just hate how engaged they're all like, half of them are like corrupted dragons instead of actual dragons, so you can't use your dragon effective weapons on them, which is crappy design. But besides that, I actually do like the more engage. I like the multiple health bar things. I think that's the best thing that these do. And I'm so glad that they brought it back in Engage. The multiple health bar. So nice. Because it's such a cool idea. And it makes it a lot harder to cheese maps. And so good. So good. So good. Not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> That's what I tell myself every morning when I wake up. That's a joke, you two. Is this dragon gonna be like Alfric, where its health bar rises again? Yeah, it has multiple health bars. Hmm. That's what these little crystal things mean. That's what the crystal meth icons do. He does meth. That's why he's this giant dragon. He's nuts <laughs> around. He 
he, he truly is the dragon these nuts. Who well, all these flippers are level 12. Except for literally Ash and Annette are the only ones who aren't. Ash isn't even level 11 yet. Because Ash is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it for the bajillion time. Nobody cares that Ash is what he is. Nobody cares. Do you have it? Yeah, you do have a gambit left. Gambit on top of him. I really, I'm not gonna make the Morbius joke again. I've made it like five times this video. I don't need to say it again. Ready. About the whole gambiting all over the place, including on himself. Wait, what? Ah, uh, hmm. That wasn't sus at all. No, you're sus. Go sus yourself, you sus. Stop being sus, Seth. Jesus. Yeah, Seth is sus, YouTube. You should tell him to stop, YouTube. Tell him to stop being so damn sus. Deal some thick, nasty damage on this thick, nasty man. Oh, you're out of physic? Oh, that's that's nice. That's that's so freaking nice, YouTube. He's out of physic. Stay vigilant. I mean, she's out of physic. So heckin' nice. <laughs> How much damage do these guys do to a net? I swear to goodness, if you kill her. No, you don't. Oh, so you're gonna need to survive two of their attacks, the net, unless you get a crit. Yay, you're level 12, which literally just means Ash is not, is the only one who's not at least level 12. And it's because, you know why. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe it. Your own brother kill, killed you, peasant. Imagine getting killed by your own brother. I know, right? Such an L moment, being killed by your own brother. What an Stay L. Vigilant. I'm on it. So L of them. Stay Such focused. an L, 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 thick, nasty L. Ellen, these nuts. That sounds too much like Ellen DeGeneres' name. I'm not gonna say that again. <laughs> Here goes. L plus ratio on my balls. Oh yeah. I think I mean a little, little sus, a little sus man, sussy sus man. I mean a little. I'll give it my all. Sus suspicious. I just want Ash to be able to get a kill so that Ash can get a level up, I swear. Bro, why do you do so little damage to your own brother? Oh, you got critical, so I can't even use Ash, you dingus. Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It's over. Let's retrieve the Lance and leave this place. Miklon, my brother. Sylvain actually called him his brother. Yeah. They're brothers. 
Yeah, but he said that he disowned him and that he wasn't his brother. Sylvain didn't disown him, his family did. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The Goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course, that is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. No. I want it. What is the meaning of this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Lady Rhea, I am overjoyed and beyond grateful to you for recovering the relic of my family, House Gautier. Now, may I please have that lance? I have received direct approval from my father to take possession of it. As the next head of House Gautier, do you swear that you will never cause such a deplorable incident to transpire? On my family's name, and on my brother's life, I swear it. <sighs> Very well. However, I have one condition. You must never allow another to wield this lance. Your brother clearly demonstrated what fate awaits those who break that restriction. Yes. I... I will not soon forget. I'll use it eventually. Is your meeting over, Professor? I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times it's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest just like miklon it happened to my uncle as well the eldest child of the king and yet he never ascended to the throne rufus all families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the ten elites are much the same but house gautier takes it a step further and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. In a way, that said, ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> This same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths. 
and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do. And I'd wager you do as well. I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable, or to find a way to accept it anyway. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. <gasps> find her anywhere. Professor, have you I'm seen so shocked. Recently? I haven't played this game ten plus times. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. Okay, let's do some academy. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's, let's academy. Let's go to school. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Oh yeah! I got a bunch of money, money. Oh, there's paralogs. Uh, again, I'll wait for supports. What paralog is this? That's available. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The Knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flame. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Flame has disappeared? Seteth must be beside himself. So, finding little Flane is our mission for this moon? Leave it to me, Professor. Chasing after girls is my specialty. 
Sylvain, even you must agree that now isn't the time for jokes. I hope Flame is okay. I've heard rumors about some death knight running around town. Sounds intriguing. I have been hoping to cross blades with him. Felix, please consider how Sedith must be feeling right now. In any case, we must start our search at once. Every moment matters. On your order, Professor, let's try to collect as much information as we can. I'm on the lookout for suspicious individuals. The only place I've yet to check is the library. As you wish. Candlelight. And who is that? No, it isn't. Impossible. Professor, to do. What are you up to at this hour? Dun dun dun! Your Highness, my apologies. Oh, none necessary. I'm sorry for startling you. Isn't that the death I was just doing? Some research, no! But I'm just about finished. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. We'd better head back to our quarters to do. Until tomorrow, Professor. All I'm gonna say is that don't concern yourself about the death knight, Seth. He is not important. <laughs> okay. He has an identity, but it's not that important. Whatever could he have been looking for so late at night? Hmm? That book is quite askew. He must have rushed to put it back upon the shelf. We are fine to a point, Seth, where you're probably start going to start getting hooked it in this story. It be a record of donations from nobility. Arundo. That's not a name I know. But look at that. This Arundel gave quite a sum each year. That is, until the year 1174. He must have died or fallen to financial woe. Hmm. I can't imagine what this has to do with Flame. Oh yeah, YouTube. Seth spoiled himself on who uh, Sothis is. Yeah. Like the dingus he is! <laughs> dingus! Okay. Uh, how many paralogs? Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till there's two paralogs available at a time, YouTube, to do them. Because, okay, yeah, there's only one right now. Uh, I want to see more information. I guess I'll do it on the next thing. Uh, because paralogs should be sort story-wise, so I theoretically should be able to get two done every video. So I have one intermediate seal. I need at least two more. I'll buy two more, and if I need another one, then I'll do it then. Let's get it. You are not promoted. Let's make you a mercenary. Instant pass because New intermediate party. class. Not hard. You obviously are. You are not. Despite you being one of my highest level units. Uh, Brigand's a better pass. Since I'm going to turn him into a wyvern, Brigand is definitely better. For him. There's no point in giving him armor. And it also gives him more magic. I wish he had more resistance, though. So. You're done. You... Apparently, I have a lot of intermediate seals. Holy crap. I had five. What? I don't... How did I get so many? What a relief. Sni uh, is it sniper? I cannot remember. Or sniper middle tier. Oh, uh, it's just his archer. Obviously, I did Sylvain. Uh, I did not do either of the magic units. I think those are the only two I didn't do. And I have two, right? I have two more master seal. I mean, in a, yeah, I have the perfect amount. Cool. Again, 100%. We're just going to do the quests again, YouTube. I'm going to do all the other exploring stuff. Um, that being said, there is actually one other funky, funky little thingy runa that we're going to do. One more funky little funker. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, that came out weird. Don't know why I was watching all that. <laughs> it's all thanks to hard work. Okay. Fortunately, we're already at 50 minutes, so this is gonna be another long ass video. Uh, all the stuff with like the greenhouse and cooking, I'm gonna do all that off cam. Okay. Let's just head okay. down towards the quest. Let's see. Okay, so this is just another trade secrets. Hey, how about a favor? Okay, he's in the actual house. This is a pain in the ass one. Let's see, when I consider how Seth must be feeling, my heart breaks. We must find Flane as soon as possible. There are no signs of her having left the monastery, but we cannot safely rule out any possibility just yet. I'm wasting precious time standing about trying to think of a solution. I'll survey the monastery and see what information I can gather. There must be someone who has a clue as to Flane's whereabouts. Will you do me a favor? Huh. So now you just gotta talk with a bunch of people. There's a couple that are more important than any other. Where could Flane have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? Yes. I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flane. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Hmm. That's a little <laughs> sus. Uh, I don't know how many video supports there'll be YouTube, uh, this video. Uh, probably not a ton this video. If we unlock par- If we unlock another paralogue after the next chapter, we'll probably do the two paralogues and then... Supports? Um, ah! Wrong buttons! I think I remember who that love letter goes to. I think that's the one that goes to Alois. No, it's the one that goes to Cyril, I think. Yeah, it has to be, because the one where you have to bring it to uh, Alois is so damn annoying. Please watch over Flame. Please protect her. Um, may I ask a favor? Where is this one? It's back down over here. Professor. Oh, looked everywhere. Not even the night. Yes. May the goddess. Is it the still that one? Not doing it yet. I'm gonna do it on a week on on a, on a explore where I don't have a lot going on. Yep. This is the one where we have to give the stupid love letter to the worst Let's character see. in this game. Like the one character I don't actually what plan on using. Just disappeared. I don't like it one little bit. Oh. Are you here to see someone? Alois and Shamir and all the knights are gonna head into town soon. Hey, he didn't mention Lady Rhea even once during that whole that whole exchange. Best it's professor. amazing. I've never seen him go song so long without mentioning his Lord and Savior Rhea. To think that Flame would disappear like this. Sadath must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. That's a little... <laughs> sus. Whoopsie. I hope Flane isn't going hungry. 
If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flame, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. Hey, don't accuse my boy Aloise, you piece of dirt. That's a one-way trip to getting benched. Asshole. Ah, you're looking for Flane's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. Hmm. That's the smartest thing anyone hey, said. Professor, did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flame? You can't really believe I did that. Well, this may sound silly, but... I was too scared to even look. I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. Did you hear about Flane? It's just of course I heard about Flane, dumbass. Some of the lower ranked knights <laughs> are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. What? Yuritsa? Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. What would make you suspect him? I see. Well, I'll let the knights know. Oh. Well, I'm over here. Let's actually exit and turn in that quest. Nice work. Don't know why I need to actually go talk to you, ass. Ass brain. Okay, can I just do the one to professor. end this all yet? Hey, professor, have you seen Manuela? Okay, I think this is the one I needed. I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, professor? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. Okay. I think that's the one I actually needed. I think with that, I have enough information. Do I? No, I don't. I'm waiting for I one to open up. That. that is what you are thinking? That the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Okay, after Shamir, I should be able to end this. No. They remind me of Warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Okay. Cool. Now I can talk to Shamir, and once I talk to Shamir, I should be able to talk to Hanuman. If you look at the map, uh... Never mind. I thought that was something else. That's just that one. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Seros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. Come on, come on. Oh, come on! I still need to talk to more people. Ugh! Oh, Who do you still need to talk to? I don't remember. Flame? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? If I did. a particularly rare crest, I could yeah. imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest. Yes! Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman. Oh, this should be the one I need. Flame. That should be the one I need. Please tell me it's the one I need. Yes, it's the one I needed. Oh my god. 
young flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool, that's who. Flame's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare, but there are others who possess it. Wait, what? It's not gonna end after that? What? Oh my god! The Hanneman one is always what I've ended on before. Infuriating! Okay, Dad. Because of Flame's disappearance, all of the knights are searching nonstop. But we haven't found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. What's that? You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. I'm not close to the guy, so I can't say for sure. But come to think of it, you could be right. Okay, thank you. Done. I better not have to retalk to Marianne. In case I do, though, I am going to actually go get these now. The medicine. Oh my god. Really? What? I should return to Marianne just to give the horse service. I hate the quest that you actually have to return to Sender. Except ones like this. This one makes sense to have to. Ugh, they're so annoying. Professor, thanks for your help. What? Professor Monuela ran off with Professor Yuritsa's mask? I have a bad feeling about this. We must find them both at once. Professor Yuritsa will be at the training grounds or his quarters. I believe the latter can be found on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. Okay, uh, so you know that little nice quarters thing I saw? That, that is, a you can actually start the chapter, the next chapter right now, but I'm not going to. Frankly. Professor. I didn't mean to trouble you. And this is where, YouTube, there's going to be a little bit of a cut until the end of the monastery. And if I don't remember... Ugh. Okay, game, gamer family, we're back. We're going to the abyss. Whoa. Abyss. Yeah, we can just go here now. Actually, we've been able to go here the whole time, technically. But wait, we waited till now. We waited till now. Indeed. What's that? Just <sighs> like over here is the fun little. Okay, he's not there yet. Like all the shops that were down here before aren't here anymore. But there is still the influencer that we could change renown will give <laughs> more people to appear in the abyss. This one? Which is nice. For this one? More features. For this I forgot one? I actually forgot entirely about that whole his existence you again thing. Soon. Uh, I forgot that he existed. Oh now there's actually quests down here. Oh, whoa. And who might you be? Not an Abyssian. That much is clear at a glance. A visitor from above, perhaps? With what purpose? Oh, but of course! You must be the new teacher specially appointed by Lady Rhea. That is it, yes? Rumors have been flying underground about you. Well then, I am Constance Von Nouvelle. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I have a small request. Another thing that exists in Abyss is the altar where you could trade in renown for. First of all, you can get renowned by giving things. 
You can also use Renown to buy things like this. Uh, I'm not going to do it yet. But it could be very useful, obviously, as you could probably imagine. Why is it that the Ashen Wolves don't remember? Because the story's not ca technically canon to the main campaign. Hmm. I know, it's such a cop out! You! Whoever you are, it doesn't matter much to me. But I do advise getting out of here before you get tangled up in trouble. Unless you've been sent here under someone's orders. In which case, I'll happily show you a good time. <laughs> huh. You're that mercenary turned professor, aren't you? The one who showed up at the monastery kind of recently. Yeah. You're the one I've heard so much about. Well, I guess it's fine you're here then. You can call me Yuri. You'll want to remember that, if you ever come down here again. Can you take care of something for me? And we're also recruiting him. Sure, sure, why not? But I don't do anything for free. In exchange, let me attend the lectures you give those noble kids, yeah? It's a deal? There. Come on by whenever you need me. He's going to be our 10th party member. Uh, we will eventually recruit Happy to replace Annette, but that's going to happen. I'm going to do it as late as I possibly can. And... Uh, Shimira will replace Ash as second we finish his paralog. What do you require? Now let me see. And it, yeah. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals of the monastery. That kind of thing. Why do I have to go back to Yuri, you stupid, stupid game? And I'm gonna skip all the teaching stuff in this video as well, YouTube. I'm just gonna do them all off camera. There's not a lot to do. That's not very professor of you. I'm still gonna do it just off camera. It's shut up, Seth. I didn't ask. <laughs> oh, I think we already had that dialogue. I think. And you can now just use the map to go between the abyss and the monastery, which is nice. It's nice. I am grateful. Oh, I should have done that before cooking, because now Yuri doesn't have any motivation. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna make him my dancer, so not a lot matters. I'm gonna just do sword and authority on him. That's all that really I need to do. And I pro he probably starts with decent decent authority too. So. I'm not seeing the location for Constance's stuff. Oh, no, I have to actually go kill thieves. Okay, never mind. I didn't look, apparently. I didn't pay attention. Um, oh, cool, there's actually not a ton of supports. We'll probably do both of them. Oh, I think there's three of them, maybe. I don't know. Returning from work, I take it? I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. I don't want you to think less of me for saying this, but here we are. At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency okay, to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Oh, you know, I'm always mixing up 
for dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um... Well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me. Is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Oh wow, this is literally the end of this support chain. I don't know why they don't have an A. Uh, your highness? Why are you in my room? Sorry, I need to hide in here just for a while. I'll have you know this is all your fault. Hide? From who? It's some um, a girl from the academy. I'm sorry. It's a what? This is all because of your insistence that I go and ask a girl out. You didn't give her a dagger, did you? Is that why you're hiding? <laughs> Does she have a dagger, Dimitri? That's actually a very important line of dialogue. You kept true to your promise to improve your behavior. So, I felt it was only right to make good on my side of the bargain, too. You invited a girl to dinner, and now she's chasing you around. What's the big deal? Unless... Did you use one of my pickup lines? Those words are dangerous in the wrong hands. <laughs> With me, people know a line's a line, and I'm joking. But you... Nobody's ever accused you of being funny. <laughs> I clearly underestimated the difficulty of the task. But... What do I do now? Relax, your highness. Relax. I'll sort this whole thing out real easy. All we have to do is figure out how to make this girl lose interest in you. And making girls lose interest is what I'm best at. You just wait right there, and I'll fix everything. It was my naivete that brought this about. I cannot place this immense burden on your shoulders. <laughs> this is no job for an amateur. You need a professional's help. Trying to do everything yourself has never served you so well, so just leave this to the master. Even the dagger incident could have been avoided <laughs> if you had just talked with me beforehand. There wasn't uh, time for consultation. I only learned she was leaving on the day of her departure. The dagger incident is Whatever actually extremely say, important, is, Seth. You need to learn to rely on me for these types It's of actually in the extremely important. For now, I got this. Is the girl and that he came across Flynn? Something. No, 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 it's not Flynn. It's not important for a while, but it will be very important. You'll learn more about it in chapter very before well. chapter when time comes, I promise to help nine. You as best I can. The knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. You'll Isn't learn it right? in month twelve. You're a good man, Sylvain. I'm sorry to do this to you. Best of luck. Please, your highness. I've spent years honing my skills for just this situation. Watch and learn. As much as I complain about the supports in this game, I genuinely really like that one. Anyways, YouTube, that is the end of this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.